So in the last video, we got a few things right and one thing very, very wrong, trying to predict uh, the MS1 paper. I don't think anybody saw them asking you to get information for the second year running coming, but they did. So it just shows, as ever, you can never predict anything about an exam at which point I'm about to predict a lot of things about an exam. So here's a few tips for the forthcoming Media Studies MS2 component. Let's get into it. Let's start with a reminder of the format. Remember, we have two and a half hours. We have three sections and four questions across those three sections. Two 30 markers and one of the sections divided into two questions for 15 marks a piece. Remember that the questions could come from any or any direction of the theoretical framework. So that means we can expect distributed across the three sections, media language, representations, audience, industry and probably a question on context as well. Remember that on this section it is highly likely that they will ask you to evaluate one of our favourite media theorists, in other words to uh, write about the extent to which you can apply a specific theory named in the question to one or two of the text. So let's start with TV in the global age. For this, I've been looking at Peaky Blinders and the bridge. Moment silence for Life on Mars, RIP. Only once have they, on this section, divided the text into the two 15 markers. The norm very much being a 30 marker here. Um, last year, it was a media language question. We've not had an industry question since 2019. Um, does this mean we're due one this year? Quite possibly, but as, uh, as we've already discovered with Formation Gate, you can never say never. This is TV in the global age. We need to consider what makes TV global. How are national broadcasters creating content that can compete, compete with TV created by global giants like Netflix, like Amazon, like Apple, and like big uh, corporations like uh, HBO? Think about genre in particular, I think that's always a valuable one to know. It's value to the TV industry, it's importance to audiences, and also genre gives you a way in to think about aspects such as representation, the way in which those representations conform to genre uh, expectations, but then of course how well they conform to or subvert gender expectations. Mainstream and alternative magazines, for me here, the trusty combo of Hook and Woman's Realm. And this is another section of the exam in which only once um, in the years that they've been putting this paper out since 2019, have they used it for the two 15 markers. I think this is because these publications perfectly complement each other. And we can probably expect with the usual caveat, a 30 marker on both. Last year was audience. Context is due a turn. Representations have been in the wilderness since 2019. Is this the year? Always think about the extent to which these two publications reflect totally different historical and industry context. I think from those two things, so much else follows. Be ready to cite specific examples of the content from both of the publications that you happen to have studied. This brings us to media in the online age. Here, I've stood by Zoella, hi guys, and Attitude's website. This is the section where the most times over the last few years we have seen the questions divided onto the 215 into the 215 markers now i think this is because these are quite tricky to yoke together these two uh, these two particular choices last year it was industry for zoella and representation for attitude of the way in which both of these online phenomena 
appeal to specialised audiences. They represent different industry models of marketing and monetization. No specific examples of content. Don't just generalise about what Zoella has done as if she's still doing the same thing she was doing 15 years ago. She is very much not, of course. So be on top of that shifting context, the shifting way in which she interacts with a more mature audience these days. Be ready to discuss a couple of specific videos if I was you. Ready to refer to specific articles that Attitude has hosted on its website. Again, always better to know specific examples than to offer vague generalisation. Know the specific section, specific way in which the Attitude website is organised. How this helps it to appeal and cater to the needs of its very specialised audience. Hope all that helps. Let's see what June the 4th brings. Thanks for watching and Good luck.